Hi, I'm Nexus, and this video is about the reshade effects and the NVIDIA control panel settings for DCS Open Alpha, what can improve your visual quality and what kills your frame rate. So, first thing we are going to check is the NVIDIA control panel. Uh, if you're running on the uh, AMD or ATI uh, graphic card, I'm sorry, I don't have one, so I will not be able to help you. Let's go to NVIDIA then. You have here your global parameters. Sorry, it's in French, so you can pause the video whenever you want to translate yourself, but uh, it, it will be um, approximately the same. So what I've done for DCS to improve the anti-aliasing system is activate the multi-frame template anti-aliasing, MFAA. This is a frame rate killer, okay? It kills your FPSs. I'm using a G-Sync monitor, so I disable manually this uh, vertical sync, sorry. <clears throat> the power setting are set to maximum efficiency for obvious reasons. The LOD negative, um, I don't know how to translate it, but I set to clamp. Um, the transparency of the anti-aliasing, I've set it to four times super multi-sampling, I guess. <laughs> and uh, this is for digital combat simulator. It says Black Shark, but uh, if, you don't, uh, if you don't find it here, you can click on Add and uh, find the EXE, the EXE of uh, DCS 2.1. And uh, you will, it will call it uh, Black Shark anyway. Don't worry about that, okay? So, I'm gonna start DCS now, so you can see <clears throat> what this do into the game. Because for now, the anti-aliasing in DCS is quite, uh, let's say, strange. <laughs> Shadows are good. But uh, you have some artifacts and and uh, blurry areas. You can see, you can still see the stairs effects, not until yes, <laughs> I don't even know if it's, if it's a word. So I'm gonna disable the shade because we are in the menu. Up and go to my settings. So you can see here, I got in the menu a lot of pieces. Of course, uh, this is normal. I'm sure this is doing to a lot of you. Uh, I don't use the different lightning because uh, it's, it, it, it blinds me. Uh, like, really. Uh, maybe I'll try later, but for now, I set it off. I got everything set uh, up. So MSAA is already at maximum. And... Uh, it improved a little bit, but uh, not a lot. Okay, I'm gonna start a mission now. Test P51. <coughs> Let's go. Oh, by the way, if you have an SSD, a solid state drive, I recommend you to put uh, DCS on it for obvious reasons, for uh, read and and uh, write procedures, input-output procedures. It's better than a classical hard drive. Let's go to this one. Yeah. Oh, um, yeah. So, this is me on the ground with nothing except some planes. By the way, if you like this uh, livery, this texture, I made it on Photoshop and I will provide you the link into the description of this video. If this is for uh, the TF50D, uh, 51D Mustang, which is free by the way. So enjoy yourself. And I'm using some mods here. You can see my <laughs> little picture. But uh, back to the topic, I got 70 
FPS is on the ground because I am alone and uh, I turned on, like I said, the MFAA. So my shadows are good looking. I don't have any stretchy edges or anything like that. But if I turned on my reshade, uh, because of the sharpen effect, it will, let's say, get a little worse. Uh, see by yourself. You see the shadows? The difference? Turn it off and turn it on. Because of the sharpen effect, everything is sharp, obviously. So all the edges and the details are, um, let's say, augmented. So everything is is uh, pretty flat up. <laughs> Sorry, so pause the F word. Uh, then you have my FPS have dropped, as you can see. Turn it off. Get back to 70. Turn it on. And dropping. OK. It's because I'm using so adaptive sharpen, ambient light, clarity, levels for the color, luma sharpen, another sharpen system, and SMAA. It's a post processing anti aliasing system. Look, the effects is not quite easy to see. On, off. On, off. You can see the edges here on the plane. Look at it. You see it? I hope you will see it because, uh, not because of the quality of the video I will upload then. I try to upload in best quality I can. So now I'm gonna turn off the shade and quit. DCS, turned off the multi frame sample anti aliasing. So you will see by yourself that it, it is a FPS killer. Deactivated fixation up and disable it too. The transparency. Those two. Uh, the MFAA is a FPS killer. This one is not a FPS killer, but. Uh, just a little bit. I click to apply. We launch DCS. Oh, and uh, if you're asking what setup I'm using, you can check out my uh, Facebook page, uh, Red Diffraction Studio. I posted there uh, some uh, photos. But uh, if you ask me, I can uh, answer you what I'm using, software or hardware. Let's disable the shade, jump into a mission as quick as possible. Okay, yeah, I know. Antivirus, antivirus. Uh, you can skip the parts when I'm not talking about the interesting thing, of course. Let's go for this one. Okay, so you can see my FPS is a little bit improved. Like I said in my previous video, on the ground, you always have lag because of the level of details or LOD. You have the buildings, you have the trees and the shadows. So if you want to improve your FPSs, uh, be sure to set up your NVIDIA control panel, uh, like I said, and uh, be sure to put DCS on an SSD, have a proper PC configuration. That's uh, it's obvious. And uh, the shadows are FPS killer. So 
if you want to have more spaces on the ground, turn it off or just set it to flat only. Okay, so I'm going to turn on shade now. Here we go. The ambient light effects is using the ambient light, of course, uh, sources, and you can disable the color thing. As you can see, when I look on the ground, there is a reflection of the sun on the on the tarmac, and it's produced yellow ambient light. But if I look here, it takes the blue of the sky. This is perfect for the cockpit, but uh, not for the external views, in my opinion. So, I will provide a link to my reshade uh, preset and uh, the xgi.ini, as usual. Um, at the end of this, this video, you can click on the suggestion and you will have my uh, video about uh, NVIDIA control panel settings for normal using and uh, everyday, let's say, proper configuration for gaming and uh, flight simulation. You can drop a like and uh, subscribe to my channel if you like my content. Also, check out my uh, Red Diffraction uh, Studio Facebook page if you want to stay tuned. Oh, by the way, I'm using some mod here to some cool mods. I will provide every link into the description below. Don't worry. So, see you in the sky of DCS Open Alpha, guys.